Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, via tape delay from Beaner Field in Hutchinson, it's Hark Youth Baseball in the Major League Division. Hi, everybody. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry Dupay, and we welcome you aboard for this evening's game. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint crop periods venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Farnell, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CU TV with Gary Smith. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry Dupay, and we will be back with the first pitch right after these messages. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500 where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice so ask for centers for rehab services it's your health it's your choice creditors calling you day and night your debt overwhelms you Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebley Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley Mahalov and White.
Welcome to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're getting ready for the start of the game between the Royals and the A's. On the mound for the A's will be Alex Edwards. His catcher today will be Trip Sharp. First batter he's going to face is Cameron Culp. Culp will be followed by Dante Regola and Noah Lyon. Batting cleanup will be Kellen Milsom. Brody Kutchman will be batting fifth. Zachary Smith, sixth. Brody Baker, seventh. Toby Downs, eighth. Jacob Mahoney, ninth. And Trenton Clemmer, tenth. There's a nice swing there by Culp. Edwards rocks and deals. High pitch, but Culp chased it. Here's Edwards. Ready to go. Pitch the Culp. Nice pitch. Edwards with his first strike out of the night. That'll bring up Dante Regola. Here's the pitch of Regola. Just a little behind. He'll be followed by Noah Lyon. We'll set the defense here in a minute. There's a shot down to first. Nice play there by the first baseman. That's C.J. Cullen at first base, making a beautiful play to retire. Regola, three unassisted. So two outs, and that'll bring up Noah Lyon. There's a shot down the left field line. We'll set the defense real quick for the A's. We've got Case and Lindsay at third base. Playing short today will be Devin Phillips. Second baseman is J.J. Johnson. C.J. Colgan, who made that beautiful play at first base just a minute ago. At first, Mark Ellsworth in left. James Williams at center field. And Denver Workman at right field. And there's a base hit. I'm going to give an infield hit there to Noah Lyon. Lyon hit that ball down the left field line. Almost stopped there. Could have been in for extra bases, but beautiful play there by the third baseman. That was Case and Lindsay on the play. And there's the pitch from Edwards to Kellen Milsom. Milsom in right field today. There's a pitch. Edwards just a little bit outside. So two down, we're in the top of the first inning, and no score. Kellen Milsom at bat for the Royals. And there's a shot to short right to Phillips, and Phillips just flips it over to second baseman. J.J. Johnson for the easy force play. So Devin Phillips with a nice play to retire the side. So in the top of the first, no runs, one hit, no errors, one man left on base. So... After half inning of play, it's the Royals nothing and the A's coming to bat on the South Union Township Sports Network. If you've been injured on the job, you'll want a local attorney you can trust. The attorneys at Davis & Davis live and work right here, representing injured workers for over 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Welcome back to the South Uni Township Sports Network. We're in the bottom of the first inning. It's the Royals against the A's. Royals scoreless in the first inning. A's coming to bat. Leading off for the A's will be catcher Trip Sharp. He'll be followed by Alex Edwards and Devin Phillips. Pitching for the Royals is Zach Smith. Behind the plate will be Brody Kutchman. There's the pitch strike. Nice pitch there to Sharp. We'll set the defense here for you shortly. Here's Smith, the lefty. Nice pitch. Got tripped to chase. So now all of a sudden, one and two. Brody Kutchman behind the dish, as we said. Here's Smith, the lefty. 
just missed outside. Count goes to two and two. Zach gets the sign. Just a little bit outside. So now full count. Smith set, gets the sign. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a shot down to third. It's going to get past the third baseman and down into the corner. Sharp easily with a stand-up double to lead off this game. So Sharp with the first hit of the game. And the A's with runners in scoring position right off the bat. That's going to bring up pitcher Alex Edwards. Edwards trying to help his own cause. We mentioned he's a starting pitcher today for the A's. There's a pitch from Smith just a bit outside. Smith check sharp at second. Here's the pitch behind Edwards. It's going to get sharp to third base easily. So nobody out. Quickly a runner in scoring position for the A's. Alex Edwards to face Zach Smith. There's a pitch, strike. Nice job of framing that pitch by Brody Kutchman behind the dish. Smith the lefty. Looking to strand sharp at third base. And there's a shot by Edwards to short. Nice play there over to Lyon. And he gets him. So Cameron Culp with a beautiful play at short to retire Edwards 6-3, to three, but not before Trip Sharp scores. So give Alex Edwards credit with the RBI and Cameron Culp with the beautiful play. But the A's jump out to a quick 1-0 lead. That pitch was just a bit outside. So we've got set the infield. We've got Toby Downs at third. Cameron Culp's at short. Second baseman. We're going to find out who the second baseman is right now as he makes this catch. Beautiful play there. What number you got there, Jared? Can you see? Hey, you want to turn around. And yeah, unfortunately, the coaches gave us the numbers, but not the positions. With no alliance at first, I can tell you that. We'll have to find out who the second baseman was here. He made a beautiful play right there on that pop-up to retire. Devin Phillips now batting his case and Lindsey. Lindsey pulls that one foul. Case and Lindsey starting out at third base today for the A's. We'll try to pay attention to the players for the Royals coming in so we can get their numbers and positions. Here's Smith with the pitch. There's a shot to left field. Beautiful play there to hold Lindsey to a single. So Lindsey now, he'll be at first with two outs. Two hits now for the A's. And that'll bring up J.J. Johnson. <coughs> and that would have been Dante Regola making that catch at second. Here's a pitch from Smith to J.J. Johnson, starting second baseman today. Case and Lindsey with the single, two-out single. The A's already up, one nothing over the Royals. Zach Smith on the mound. Just gets away from... Brody Kutchman. Lindsay's going to make it to second base easily. And here's the pitch from Smith. Nice pitch. Down and in. One ball, two strikes to J.J. Johnson. Smith gets a sign pitching from the stretch. There's a pitch and he gets a nice catch there by 
Brody Kutchman on the foul tip to retire the side. But not before the A's score one run on two hits. There's no errors and one man left on base. So after one inning of the play, it's the A's one and the Royals nothing. And we'll be right back for second inning action on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're entering the top of the second inning. It's the Royals coming to bat. It'll be Brody Kutchman, Zach Smith, and Brody Baker. He'll face Alex Edwards for the A's. Edwards able to retire the side in the first inning before giving up a run. It's a pitch here. It's going to hit Brody Kutchman. <laughs> Alex Edwards making sure the Kutchman's okay. Brody said I'm fine. Kind of caught him in the thigh. He's a catcher. He's tough. He can handle that. So leadoff batter aboard. Zach Smith, the lefty up. Fouls one off. Is it going to get out of play? Yes, it is. Third baseman. Case and Lindsay gave it a try, but the ball was out of play. So Zach Smith followed by Brody Baker and then Toby Downs. There's another foul back. Is he going to get a car? Yes, he does. And there you go. <laughs> Should be a lesson learned there. Can't park behind the dugouts or the backstop. Here's the pitch from Edwards, 0-2. There's a shot down to second. Gets past the second baseman. Kutchman is going to go to third. Yes, he is. Going to make it easily. So Zach Smith with the second hit of the game for the Royals. That's going to take Brody Kutchman all the way to third. So now all of a sudden the, run, the Royals with runner in scoring position. Nobody out. And Brody Baker coming to bat. Smith, I'm sure, is probably going to take off with the first pitch to get down to second base and get in scoring position. Here comes Edwards rocking and dealing. There's a shot, and it's going to fall in. Yes, it does. Squirts away on a funny hop, and the Royals score their first run of the game. Nice try there by second baseman J.J. Johnson, but the ball was funny spin on it. That's going to be a base hit. So Brody Baker with a base hit, RBI. And the game is tied at one. So Zach Smith on second, Brody Baker on first, and Toby Downs at bat now for the Royals. On deck will be Jacob Mahoney. There's a strike. Balls weren't hit hard, but just in the right spots. And Brody Baker gets an RBI single. Still nobody out here. Second inning. Ball down and away. Smith going to run. They're going to have a play at second. No, they're going to end up scoring a run. And they are. Zach Smith going to make it home on the throw down to second. So the Royals jump out to a quick 2-0 lead. Brody Baker makes it to second base. Toby Downs at the plate. Ball up just a little high. So Baker at second, nobody out. Royals plate two runs in this second inning. Jacob Mahoney to follow. He'll be followed by Trenton Clemmer. There's a walk. 
And on the play, Brody Baker is going to make it to third. So Toby Downs walks. And the Royals are putting together an inning. Alex Edwards looking to get the first out. Jacob Mahoney. The bat here for the Royals. Toby Downs first. And there's a shot to short. Going to bring it over to first base and retire Mahoney, but not before he drives in a run. Nice play there by the shortstop. Devin Phillips to make the play. Went to first, but in the meantime, Brody Baker able to score. So RBI ground out by Jacob Mahoney, and that's going to bring up Trenton Clemmer. He'll be followed by the top of the order, Cameron Culp. And here's the pitch. He's nailed. Trenton Clemmer takes one for the team. He's the second hit batter here in this inning. Kutchman hit by the pitch to lead off. Now Trenton Clemmer. Clemmer's not rubbing it, though. I think he took it like a man. So now we're going to have a timeout. Coach Edwards is going to go out and talk to his son. And that's going to bring up Cameron Culp. So top of the order coming up for the Royals. The Royals already pushed three runs across. You got Toby Downs at second base and Trenton Clemmer at first. Nice long talk between pitcher and his manager. See if he can settle him down a little bit. All right, so Cameron Culp at bat. Culp 0 for, 0 for 1 today. There's a shot. Nice cut there by Culp. Edwards. Doc must have done him good. Nice pitch there to start off the at bat against Culp. Edwards gets a sign. There's the pitch. Down just a little bit. Nice stop by the catcher, Trip Sharp. Two runners on. Three runs across for the A's. I'm sorry, for the Royals. Take a quick 3-1 lead over the A's. Two strikes now on Culp. Edwards sets and deals. Trying to throw like a little off speed pitch there. A little bit high. Culp laid off of it. Thought about taking the cut, but laid off. Only one out. There's the pitch to Culp. Beautiful pitch by Edwards to retire Culp for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up Dante Regola. <coughs> Excuse me, Regola, the second baseman. Grounded out to first baseman Colgan in the first inning. Ball gets away. Runners are both going to advance. Toby Downs going to make it to third and Clemmer to second. So two runners in scoring position. Regola looking to give his Royals either a four or five to one lead here with a base hit. Here's Edwards. Agrees with the sign and here's the pitch. Ball fouled off out of play down the right field line. So Regola getting a piece of it. Two down, three to one. Royals over the A's. Here's Edwards' pitch just a little outside. Clemmer at second. Downs at first. Royals trying to capitalize. They've got two hits this inning, three runs. Here's the pitcher Regola. Up and in. Three and one. Edwards doesn't want to walk. The base is loaded. On deck. 
is Noah Line, the first baseman for the Royals. So we've got a full count. Here's the payoff pitch. Strike three on the curveball. So Edwards able to retire Regola, but not before the Royals score three runs on two hits. No errors and two men left on base. So after an inning and a half of play, it's the Royals three and the A's one. And we'll be back for the bottom of the second inning right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Esophageal reflux affects 20% of Americans and can lead to heartburn, regurgitation, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Reflux is caused by stomach contents passing a faulty valve and entering the esophagus. Ulcers and precancerous tissue can then form. Offer the latest testing and treatment for reflux disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the bottom of the second inning. The Royals lead the A's 3-1, to one, and there's a shot there by C.J. Colgan. Is it going to fall in? And it does. It falls in front of left fielder Trenton Clemmer for a leadoff single by C.J. Colgan. Colgan with the second hit of the night for the A's. Case and Lindsay had a hit in the first inning. That's going to bring up James Williams. Williams is center fielder. Pitch by Smith. Going to get away. CJ going to make it to second base easily. So with a 3-1 lead, the A's looking to get back into this game. Down two. Here's a swing by Williams. Unsure, but went after that pitch. So Zachary Smith. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch by Smith. Good stop there by Brody Kutchman behind the dish. Nice looking catcher back there. Brody's doing a good job. Here comes... And there's a strike right down the heart. James Williams on deck is Denver Workman. He'll be followed by Mark Ellsworth and Jake Jones. Here's the pitch outside. Going to shoot it down to third. They're going to put the tag on him, and they do. Colgan's out easily. Nice play by the catcher. Kutchman flips it down to third baseman Jacob Mahoney. Mahoney puts the tag on Colgan, so he's retired. Catcher to third baseman. Beautiful play, beautiful shot there by Kutchman. One out now. And Williams earns a walk. So he's going to replace Colgan on the base pass. That's going to bring up Denver Workman. Workman, starting right fielder tonight for the A's. On deck will be Mark Ellsworth. There's a pitch from Smith outside. The Royals changed up defensively, so we'll have to get all the information here. We kind of have a pretty good idea. Smith just a bit inside. Just missing on the pitch. So Denver Workman up with one out. James Williams on first after the walk. That's behind Workman, and that's going to get Williams to second easily. Not so sure the runners are going to be too eager to run on Brody Kutchman behind the plate. He's got a cannon back there. Threw out Colgan with ease. Here's the pitch from Smith. Up high, but it's fouled off. Workman, unsure if he wanted to pull the trigger or not. 
But as it turned out, but as it turned out, they're going to call a foul bar. They're going to call a hit batter. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> they're going to call it a hit by pitch, but he actually offered. Oh, umpire saw it differently. So anyway, he'll be on first base. So Williams will be at second. Denver Workman at first after the hit by pitch. Still one out. Mark Ellsworth on at the plate with Jake Jones on deck. Here's the pitch from Smith. Just a bit outside. Good stop by Kutchman behind the plate. Smith throwing a lot of pitches this inning. Here's the pitch. Nice cut. Ellsworth. Good swing. Just missed that pitch by a hair. Here's the pitch. Ball hit back. It's going to be the first baseman. Nope, can't field it. Everybody's safe. Ball took a funny hop and got away from Kellen Milsom. And Mark Ellsworth's going to be safe. We're going to give him an infield hit. That ball had a funny spin on it. Milsom charged it, but when he did, the ball kind of got away from him a little bit. So we're going to give Ellsworth a hit, and that's going to load the bases up with one out. Jake Jones at the plate. Infield in for the Royals. So bases juiced with A's. One out. We're in the bottom of the second inning. The Royals lead three to one. Here's the pitch from Smith. There's a shot. Is it going to get through? Drawn in infield. They're going to be a play at the plate. Nice play right there. Beautiful play by the second baseman. And I didn't catch a number. I'm sorry because they made some switches. We're going to have to find out who that was, Jared. But beautiful play. Threw it right to threw it right to Brody Kutchman at home for the force out. And we're going to have a pitching change. And you're right, Jared, that was number eight. Problem is, I don't have a number eight. <laughs> we'll have to, once we get through the lineup here, we'll figure things out. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> But beautiful play by the second baseman. Sorry, I can't give him his props. But nice play by Kutchman. Yeah, so Jones is going to be safe at first on the fielder's choice. And Williams is going to re be retired 4-2. to two. We'll be right back after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network where we found out that the second baseman who made that fantastic play was Cameron Culp. Now on the mound for the Royals, it's going to be the big right-hander. That's going to be Kellen Milsom. Milsom, number nine. Long lean. He kind of looks like Randy Johnson out there. Big fella throwing strikes. He's facing the top of the order, Trip Sharp. He'll be followed by Alex Edwards. Base is full of A's. We've got two outs. Milsom just missed outside. So 
And battery now is Milsom and Brody Kutchman. And as we said, we've got to give props to Cameron Culp there. Nice play at second base. Trip Sharp with the swing and the miss. Bases loaded. This would be a huge opportunity here for the A's to score, but Milson looking to shut them down here in this top, the bottom of the second inning. And he does. Beautiful pitch. The big fella comes in and throws heat. Gets sharp to strike out and leave the bases loaded. So in that inning, there's no runs, two hits, no errors, and bases left loaded at the end of the second inning. It's the Royals three and the A's one. We'll be back right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other healthcare providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're starting the top of the third inning. It's the Royals three and the A's one. Leading off will be Noah Lyon. He'll be followed by Kellen Milsom and Brody Kutchman. We've got a few changes defensively for the A's. Trip Sharp has moved from catcher to pitcher. And starting pitcher Alex Edwards has moved from pitcher to catcher. Around the horn defensively will be Williams at third, James Williams at third, Devin Phillips at short, Case and Lindsay at second, and C.J. Colgan stays at first. Outfield will be Mark Ellsworth in left. Center field is going to be Jake Jones, and in right field it's J.J. Johnson for the A's. There's Noah Lyon. Lyon singled his first time up. There's the pitch from Sharp. Count now three and one. We're in the third inning. The A's trailing by two. Curveball gets away from Sharp. So Lyon is going to walk to lead off this third inning. That's going to bring up Kellen Milsom. Milsom hit into a force fielder's choice his first time up where Noah Lyon was retired on a nice play from second baseman Johnson to Phillips on the force at second. So here's Milsom 
Brody Kutchman on deck. There's the pitch. Nilsson way out in front of that one. Sharp coming back. Looks like he's throwing pretty much a lot of junk right now. <laughs> a little bit different from what we saw with the big fellow Milsom throwing BBs at the end of the last inning. Ball thrown away, but nice back up there by Lindsey. All right, here's Sharp with the delivery of Milsom. Curveball just missed outside. Close pitch. Milsom did a nice job of laying off that pitch. There's a pitch, and it's going to be a walk. So Noah Lyon is going to go to second. Milsom is going to go to first. And that's going to bring up catcher Brody Kutchman. Kutchman was hit by a pitch his first time up. Zach Smith, the pitcher on the mount, on the on deck circle. Sorry, Kutchman, swing and a miss. Sharp with a nice pitch there. Brody just a little bit out in front of it. There's the pitch. Went with the curveball, left it hanging up high. Edwards trying to bait Milsom. Milsom actually trying to bait Edwards, I should say, trying to draw the throw. Hopefully it goes into right field. The ball down and away. Brody Kutchman with a good eye at the plate. Nobody down. The swing, Kutchman swings through it. Nice cut. First two batters in this inning were walked. Kutchman comes up, nobody out. His team leading three to one. We're in the top of the third inning. Pitch just missed a little bit outside. Zach Smith, and he'll be followed by Brody Baker. Here's the pitch from Sharp. Just a little bit ahead of it. Brody pulls it down the left field line, but just a little bit ahead of that off-speed pitch. Needs to just sit back on a little bit longer. Sharp checking in, getting the sign. Full count. And he gets Kutchman swing and miss. So the first strikeout for Sharp. That's going to bring up Zach Smith. Smith singled his first time up. Ball's down and away, and the runners are both going to advance easily. So Lyon now at third. Milsom at second, one out. And Zach Smith looking to help himself. He was a starting pitcher. Driving a couple runs here. And he hits a shot right past the second baseman, Lindsey. Ball's going to get into right field. It's going to score both runners. And Smith with a big RBI single to bring in two runs. That's his second hit of the day. He's credited for two RBIs. And now the Royals jump out to a 5-1 to one lead over the A's as both Lyon and Milsom score on the hit. Now at bat is Brody Baker. Baker. He singled his first time up and had an RBI. There's the pitch to Baker. Kind of fights off that inside pitch. Hits it foul down the first baseline. So Zach Smith now with two hits. Two RBIs. Doing a nice job on the mound as well for the Royals. Here's Sharp to Baker. Baker fouls that one off. Toby Downs on deck. Sharp. Looking for the second out of this inning. There's a pitch to Baker. Just a little bit high. Through the spinner, Baker, good job of laying off of that high pitch. Here's the pitch, down and away. Smith thought about going, but said, nah, we'll just stay here for now. The ball didn't get that far away from the catcher. And Edwards got a pretty good arm, so he didn't want to test it. 
So here's a trip from Sharp to Baker. Just a bit inside. That's going to be another walk. So third walk of the inning for Trip Sharp. That's going to bring Toby Downs to the plate. Downs walked his first plate appearance. We're going to have a timeout. Coach Edwards going to go out and talk to his pitcher, Trip Sharp. Two on, one out. Toby Downs at the plate. He'll be followed by Jacob Mahoney. So let's see, one out. Downs coming to the plate. Here's the pitch from Sharp. Down and away. Ball one. Five to one, the Royals leading the A's. They like said we're in the top of the third inning. There's a strike. Curveball caught the outside corner. Sharp. Looking to get out of a jam here. He's given up two runs this inning. Looking to stop the bleeding. Nice catch there by Edwards. Good block. Two balls, one strike to Toby Downs. Downs takes the pitch. Outside corner. 2-2. Two -two. As we said, Jacob Mahoney on deck. We've got a timeout. We've got... They're trying to get the correct count, but... Yeah, the umpire did call the one pitch. We actually thought it was low, but it was a strike. Should be two and two. Two two count right now. Yeah, the field umpire had it three and one. The home plate umpire had it two and two. And third base coach just wanted to make sure. Can't blame him there. So here's the pitch to Downs. Downs with the shot back to the pitcher. Sharp can't field it. Ball's going to be through the gap. And again, another hit. Excuse me, a hit. Ball just taking that extremely funny spin there. Sharp having trouble corralling it. Toby Downs, and we're going to give him infield single. So you've got Zach Smith at third. Brody Baker at second, and Toby Downs at first. And we're going to have a pitching change. Coming in will be James Williams. So while he warms up, we'll take a little breather. So base is loaded. Only one out. And the Royals leading the A's 5-1 here in the top of third. We'll be back right after these messages on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night. Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the top of the third inning. The Royals have the bases loaded and only one out. The A's with a pitching change. And Williams, ball hit right back to him. Alex Edwards steps on the plate for the force play. So one pitch and one out. James Williams came in to pitch in relief of Trip Sharp. Throws one pitch and gets Jacob Mahoney to ground out into a fielder's choice. Zach Smith is retired, one to two for the second out, and that brings up Trenton Clemmer. Clemmer was hit with a pitch his first time up. Base is still loaded. The Royals trying to tack on to their 5-1 lead. Williams from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Nice cut there, Clemmer. 
able to get a piece of it. Caught the umpire. Looks like it might have caught him in the shoulder there a little bit. Wincing in a little pain. Seems to be okay. Williams, fireballer coming in. He was at third base and he just traded spots with Sharp. Ball down and in. Williams came in one pitch, one out. And that was a big out as well. So two down. Base is still juiced. We're in the top of the third. And there's Clemmer with a shot down the right field line. It's going to go all the way to the fence. It's going to score two, possibly three. Clemmer, he's going to stand up double. No, he's going to make it to third on the throw. So a bases clearing double by Trenton Clemmer driving in three big runs for the Royals. And the lead now stretched out to eight to one. And Clemmer now on third with the throw. That's going to bring up top of the order. That's going to be Cameron Culp. Culp 0 for 2 today, but a chance to extend this lead now to 8. It's 8 to 1. The Royals. Good shot there by Clemmer. Fouled off a couple good pitches and just took the hard-throwing Williams to right field. Got past the right fielder, went all the way to the fence and just cleared the bases. Here's a pitch from Williams. There's a foul back. Culp able to get on top of that pitch. On deck, Dante Regola. So five runs in this inning for the Royals. Williams throwing heat. Scoring on the play was Brody Baker. Toby Downs and Jacob Mahoney. As we said, Clemmer on third. And three big RBIs for the Royals. Here's the pitch to Culp. He hacks and fouls it back. Culp with a pretty good at bat here, fouling off a few pitches. Williams coming in, throwing hard. Clemmer able to time him up pretty good and drive that ball into the right field corner. For a bases clearing double. Made it the third on the throw. Another foul back. Culp just missing. Dante Regola on deck. Looks in the dugout, gets a sign. Not exactly sure. They told him to throw an off speed pitch. Ball down and away. Two balls, two strikes. Good at bat here by Culp. Lead off hitter for the Royals. We're in the top of the third inning. The Royals leading eight to one. Pitch to Culp. He pops it straight up. It's gonna be shortstop. Phillips can't make the play. It's gonna score another run. It's gonna be a play at second and no. Great hustle there by Culp. He's gonna make it to third and he's gonna be safe. He slid right under the tag. So interesting play. Phillips went to make the catch and it just hit off the heel of his glove. And Culp just showing great speed. He's able to get all the way to third base. Regretfully, we're going to have to give an error, but could have been a third out of the inning, but it's going to score Trenton Clemmer, who's running on the hit because of two outs. That's going to bring up Dante Regola. And again, another runner in scoring position. Williams reared back. Just brought some good country heat right there. So 9-1, to one, two outs. 0-1 oh count on Regola. Noah Lyon on deck. He's hitting. So Regola hit by the pitch. So the Royals have batted around this inning. Noah Lyon coming to bat for the second time in this inning. He walked the lead off the inning and ended up scoring on the two-run single by Zach Smith. So Lyon 
one for two today. He singled his first time up in the first inning. So Culp, I'm sorry, but goal on first, Culp on third. There's a ground ball. It's going to take a funny hop past the second baseman. It's going to be a base hit. And Regola is going to make it easily to third. So base hit there by Noah Lyon. That's his second hit of the night. He's going to pick up an RBI as well. So two hits and an RBI on the night for Noah. And that's going to bring up Kellen Milsom. Milsom 0 for 1 with a fielder's choice and a walk. Lyon. Lyon's going to get called out. Kind of went in a little lackadaisical, and Alex Edwards threw the ball down to second. And he's going to get called out. So nice throw there by Edwards to retire Lyon, but not before the Royals score seven runs on five hits. No errors. One guy left on base. So after two and a half innings of play, it's the Royals 10 and the A's 1. We'll be back after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the bottom of the third inning. The Royals with an explosive third scored seven runs to take a 10 to one lead. Batting in the bottom of the third for the A's will be Alex Edwards, Devin Phillips, and Kaysen Lindsey. On the mound for the Royals is Kellen Milsom. He's in for, came in at the end just to retire the last batter. The base is loaded. Now coming in and throwing some BBs. <laughs> the big fella. He's got a nice motion. Can bring the heat. So it's Edwards, Phillips, and Lindsey. Be followed by Johnson. There's a curveball. Edwards able to reach up and get a little piece of it. Try to throw an off speed pitch. And I'm sure this next pitch is going to be straight heat outside corner. No, went again with the curveball. Edwards able to hang in. Pretty good at bat for him. Able to foul off two off-speed pitches. And there's the pitch. Strike right down the heart. Beautiful pitch there by Milsom. Brings up Devin Phillips. Phillips popped out to the second baseman his first time up. 10 to 1. Royals over the A's. It's Milsom. Just a bit outside. Brody Kutchman behind the dish. A couple changes on defense. Royals infield line at first. Brody Baker at second. Cameron Culp's now at short. And Trenton Clemmer with that huge hit in that last inning. Moving to third base. Here's the pitch from Milson. Fouled back. Phillips on that pitch just a little bit late. 10 to 1. Here's the pitch from Milson to Phillips. Down and away. So three balls, one strike. Milson, as we said. Came in with the bases juiced and retired the top of the order in that last inning. And he's, it's his first walk of the night. So he's going to walk Phillips. That's going to bring up Case and Lindsey. On deck will be J.J. Johnson. Lindsey with a single his first at bat. There's a pitch. Checked it. They're going to appeal, but he held up. Nice job there. Thought about chasing that high fastball, but able to lay off of it. 
And Milsom coming back with the heat. Case and Lindsay. One for one on the evening. Here's the pitch. Just outside, and runner's going to shoot to second base. Ball got away from Brody Kutchman, and it's going to allow Phillips to get the second. So runner in scoring position. Down 10-1. to one. We're in the bottom of the third inning. There's a strike. Inside corner, nice pitch. Milsom. Kutchman almost threw that ball right past Milsom. I don't think he was expecting it that fast back. There's a pitch high and away. It's going to get Phillips to third with one out, full count. So Phillips now in scoring position. J.J. Johnson on deck. There's the pitch. It's a strike. So two outs as Lindsey goes down swinging. And that's going to bring J.J. Johnson to the plate. Johnson 0 for 1 on the evening. And here's Milsom's pitch right down the heart. He's a tall kid. It's hard to pick up the ball on his delivery. He's doing a nice job. Fouls it off. Nice swing there by Johnson. Milsom hides that ball well, Jer. You can see, barely see it when it comes out of his hand. Kind of reaches back behind his back with it. Nice pitch on the off-speed pitch to get the second baseman Johnson swinging. So, in that inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on base. So we'll head to the top of the fourth. It's the Royals 10 and the A's 1. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're getting ready for the top of the fourth inning. The Royals lead the A's 10-1. to one. Coming up this inning for the Royals will be Kellen Milsom, Brody Kutchman, and Zachary Smith. Milsom, 0 for 1 tonight. Hit into a fielder's choice his first time up and walked second time up. Scored one of the runs in that seven-run inning, seven run inning. For the Royals, there's Williams. Rocks and deals just a little bit high. Milsom, Kutchman, Smith, and Baker for the Royals. Here's Williams. Nice pitch. Milsom with the foul. No runs scored in the first by the Royals. Three in the second, and... Seven in the third as they batted around. Now here's the pitch to Milsom. Just a bit outside. So three balls, one strike. Here's Williams. Rocks and deals. Blows that one past Milsom. So now full count. Milson looking to start off another inning. Nine run lead. Have a 10 run rule after four. And he does, gets a walk. So Williams walks the leadoff batter. That's going to bring up Brody Kutchman. Kutchman 0 for 1. He was hit by a pitch his first time up and scored a run in the second inning. 
said Brody. Nice looking catcher behind the plate. Here's a pitch from Williams. High on the change up. 1 0. No outs. Milsom on first. Here's a pitch to Kutchman. Swing and a miss. Williams with the low strike. Brody went after it. Here's Williams. Again. Nice pitch. Edwards trying to throw Milsom out. The ball's going to go into center field. Going to have a play at third. No, he's going to score. No, he's not. He's going to stay right there. So Milsom on the steal. Able to get the third on the overthrow. And Brody Kutchman now. One ball, two strikes, nobody out, but another runner in scoring position for the Royals. Here's Williams. Brody swings through. So Brody Kutchman goes down for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up starting pitcher Zach Smith. Zach, two for two here tonight. He drove in two runs. He's got two RBIs to his credit. This could be a big one here if he can drive in this run. There's the swing and a miss. Williams throws the fastball past Zachary Smith. Brody Baker on deck for the Royals. Williams getting the sign. Here's the pitch. Smith swings through another. So 0-2. One out. Runner in scoring position. Strike three. Williams rears back and gets Zach Smith for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring Brody Baker to the plate. Baker, one for one. He had a single and an RBI and walked his last time up. Oh, and one. Here's a pitch to Baker. Just a bit high. Nelson at third. Looking to make this a 10-run game, which could be huge. Baker can get a hit here. Ball inside. Baker able to get out of the way. Williams got some pretty good stuff. He's got some giddy up on that fastball. Here's the pitch. Down and away. Milsom <laughs> thought about it way too late. Don't think he would have made it anyway. Edwards pretty quick behind the dish. I think he would have got that pitch pretty quickly and had Milsom dead to rights if he would have tried to come in. So here's the pitch. Baker fouls one off. Shakes up the dugout. Brody Baker looking to drive in the 11th round of the night for the Royals. Two balls, I'm sorry, three balls, two strikes. Ball's outside. So Baker's going to take a walk. That's going to bring up Toby Downs. Toby had a single his last time up and walked the first time. So he's one for one on the night. Baker, I'm sure, going to take off on the first pitch. No. Respecting Edwards' arm after seeing him throw out Noah Lyon at the end of the last inning. Here's Williams' pitch. Toby Downs just on the inside corner. Downs had to get out of the way of that. It was a pretty good pitch. So here's Williams' deals. Strike on the outside corner. Went in, went out on the last two pitches. One ball, two strikes, two outs. 
two men on. Ten to one. It's the Royals over the A's. Here's the pitch from Williams. Down and away. It's going to send Baker to second. Milsom did not have a chance to score there. Ball just did not get away from the catcher. Far enough. So with two outs, two men in scoring position. It's a pitch to Downs. Down and away. Full count now. So two on, two outs, and a full count to Toby Downs. First base is open. It's a strike. Beautiful pitch there by Williams to strand the two runners. So Williams able to get three strikeouts in that inning. Make it a little bit entertaining with two runners on, but he strands them both. So in the top of the fourth inning, there was no runs, no hits. No errors, two men left on base. After three and a half, it's the Royals 10 and the A's 1. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. South Union Township Sports Network where the Royals lead the A's 10-1. to 1. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Kellen Milsom still on the mound. Behind the plate now is the lefty Zach Smith. Smith switching places with Brody Kutchman. Looks like Kutchman's at shortstop. Hmm. So Toby Downs at third. Kutchman at short. Culp at second, and Noah Line at first. And the lefty behind the dish, he was a starting pitcher, now he's catching. Milsom pitching to C.J. Colgan, leading off. He'll be followed by James Williams and Denver Workman for the A's. He's looking to put something together. They scored one run in the first inning. Been shot out ever since. So Milsom had three strikeouts in the last inning. He's got another one here. So Colgan goes down on strikes. He's now one for two on the day. Brings up James Williams. Williams walked his first time up. There's a pitch on the inside corner. James Williams to be followed by Denver Workman. It's a pitch by Milsom. Down and away. Williams walked his last time up and was retired on a force play at home on a beautiful play by Culp at second base. Throw the ball to Brody Kutchman to, for the force out with the bases loaded back in the second inning, which turned out to be a big play for the Royals. Strike three on a little off-speed pitch there by Milsom. Catches James Williams looking. That's going to bring up Denver Workman. Mark Ellsworth on deck. Denver Workman looks at the first pitch high. 10-1, bottom four. Royals over the A's. 
Nelson misses just a little bit outside. <clears throat> Here's Milsom's pitch. Nice pitch right on the outside corner. Two balls, one strike, two outs. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nelson getting a sign. Just a little bit high outside. Workman, somewhat of a smaller target in there. Milsom having trouble finding strikes. He struck out six batters so far. Full count now, two outs on the swing and the miss by Denver Workman. And here's the pitch. Hit back the second baseman. There's Culp, nice play. And that'll retire the side. So Cameron Culp with a nice play at second base. Retires Workman, four to three. So after four complete, it's the Royals 10 and the A's one. We'll be back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the top of the fifth inning. It's the Royals leading the A's 10 to 1. Pitching change now for the A's is going to be Devin Phillips on the mound. Alex Edwards stays behind the plate. Looks like a couple other changes. We'll have to forward those on to you here in a minute. Phillips facing Jacob Mahoney, Trenton Clemmer, and then the top of the order at Cameron Culp. So Phillips in relief of Williams. Ball just a little bit inside. Got Lindsay playing shortstop. I can tell that. We got number 12. That's Denver Workman at second. At first base is Trip Sharp, trying to figure out who the third baseman is over there, but we'll figure it out in a second and pass it on to you. Here's the pitch. Checked it. Nope. Said he did check the ball. So Jacob Mahoney, 0 for 2 tonight, but has an RBI. Scored Brody Kutchman on a ground out back in the second inning. There's a swing and a miss. So Mahoney goes down. That's going to bring up Trenton Clemmer. Clemmer with the huge double. Cleared the bases for three RBIs back in the third inning. Cracking the ball down the right field line. Deep into the corner. Able to clear the base to score all three runs. He was stranded at third that inning. Nice pitch by Devin Phillips. On deck, Cameron Culp. Here's the pitch. Popped up. It's going to grab a car here, I think. And
Clemmer. Trying to follow up on that big hit he had back in the third inning. <clears throat> Here's the pitch from Phillips. Clemmer held off. Nice job checking his swing. Two balls, two strikes, one out. We're in the top of the fifth. The Royals with a nine-run lead. Ten to one over the A's. Clemmer called out on strikes. Nice pitch there by Phillips catching the outside corner. Here comes Cameron Culp. Culp the leadoff hitter. Reached base on an error his last at bat. He's 0 for 3 today, but scored a run in that third inning. So there's a pitch. Strike by Phillips. Phillips came in, played short for the first four innings for the A's. There's a nice cut. Cameron Culp in the hole 0 and 2. Two down. The top of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch. Pops it up. Is it going to stay fair? And it does. He's going to go for three. He's got some speed. <laughs> and he's going to go home. He's going to score easily. Wow. <laughs> so gets the triple and scores on the overthrow. And just showing blazing speed there. That was the most impressive part of everything. That ball was not that far out into the outfield. He's able to tack on. The 11th run of the night. Get his first hit in the night, and it's impressive. That brings up Dante Regola. Regola is going to hit a flare, too. He's going to have a base hit. Going to have it a single? No, he's going to try to stretch it into a double, and he does. So Dante Regola with a hit. And that's going to bring up Noah Lyon. So all of a sudden, the Royals... Up by 10. A big run out at second base. If Noah Lyon can drive this run in. Be a huge run to extend that 10 run lead. Hark has a 10 run rule after four innings of play. So if the Royals are able to score here and hold the lead to 10, this game would be over. And there's a shot right past the third baseman. It's going to score Regola easily, and it's going to get Lyon to second base. So three hits in a row for the Royals. And Lyon drives in his second run of the night. He's got three hits on the evening. And the lead now at 11, 12 to 1 as Regola scores easily. Here comes Kellen Milsom. Milsom walked the last two times a bet into a fielder's choice his first time up. Devin Phillips on the mound for the A's. Milsom takes a second pitch for a strike. Noah Lyon at second base. 12 to 1. The Royals over the A's. Here's the pitch to Kellen. Ball just on the inside corner, just missed. Devin Phillips trying to get out of this inning. Get his team to bat where they're going to need to score at least two runs to continue this game. It's a called strike three. So that'll end the inning, but not before the Royals score two runs on three hits, no errors, one man left on base. So after four and a half innings of play, it's the Royals 12 and the A's 1. And we'll be back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS 
a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other healthcare providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. In the pitch now for the Royals is Noah Lyon. Behind the plate will be Kellen Milsom. Batting in the fifth inning for the A's is going to be Mark Ellsworth, Jake Jones, and top of the order, Trip Sharp. And Noah Lyon comes in, gets his first strike out of the night. So 12 to 1, the A's. Down by 11. It's a nice pitch by Lyon. Just bringing straight old country heat right there. Jake Jones. Pitch a little bit high. Jones reached on a fielder's choice his first at bat. This is only his second at bat of the game. The A's scored one run in the first and have been shut out over the last three. Strike two by Lyon. Couple changes, Zach Smith will be at first now. Trying to figure out everybody else. Cameron Culp's at short. Regardless, that's the second strikeout. Now two quick outs and that's gonna bring up the top of the order, Trip Sharp. The A's need to score at least two runs here to make it a nine run game. And there's a play up right past the second baseman. Sharp going to go to second, going to make it easily. Would have been a close play if Culp would have been able to catch that high throw, but he wasn't. So we're going to give Sharp a base hit. That's his second hit of the game. That's going to bring up Alex Edwards. Edwards 0 for 2 tonight. Looking to drive in Trip Sharp with just the second run of the game for the A's. Noah Lyon on the mound. That's the fifth hit of the night for the A's. Here's Alex Edwards. He'll be followed by Devin Phillips if he can keep this inning alive.
And if you can see all the cars leaving Hutchinson Sportsman's Club, it's not Field of Dreams. I think it's just bingo night over there. Might think it's Field of Dreams here tonight with all the traffic coming to Iowa, I guess. But back to the action. Here's Alex Edwards. Noah Lyons, strike one, first pitch. Trip Sharp at second. Two down. Here's the pitch to Edwards. He's going to hit it to first base. Smith can't find it. Nice play, but it's going to have a base hit. Took a funny hop. So Edwards now with a base hit, his first hit of the night. Does have an RBI to his credit. And that's going to bring Devin Phillips to the plate. That's going to send Trip Sharp over to third. So two down and two on. And as we said, in order to keep this game going, the A's are going to have to score two runs. So Lyon pitching to Devin Phillips. He'll be followed by Case and Lindsey. Phillips 0 for 1 tonight. He flew out to second base and walked his second time up. He got hit with a pitch. I could hear it up here, but the umpire did not say he got hit. <laughs> so he's still going to bat. <laughs> yeah, I think he got hit too. But <laughs> umpire didn't see it that way. Three and one now. Lying in the hole. Going to have to come back. There's two outs. Runners on second and third. Here's the pitch. Ball down low. So now Phillips is going to walk. Next going to bring up Case and Lindsay. Two outs, bases loaded. 11-run lead for the Royals. 12-1. to one. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. Just strike by line. Case and Lindsay one for two on the night. He had a single his first at bat. Line rearing back, throwing BBs. Oh and two quickly on Lindsay. Base is loaded. Here's the pitch from Lyon. Off speed pitch. Lindsay able to foul that pitch off. Milson behind the plate. Sacks full of A's. There's the pitch to Lindsay. Straight heat. And Lindsay able to foul that one off as well. Still 0-2. Two outs. There's a pitch curveball. Going to be grounded back to the pitcher. It's going to end up scoring a run. So... Fielder's choice for Lindsay, but able to get a RBI as Trip Sharp scores from third. So now the lead at 10. That's going to bring up JJ Johnson. Johnson 0 for 2. Lindsay with the RBI. So that makes the score 12 to 2. Base is still full. Two outs. Johnson at the plate. Johnson with a hefty cut. Fouls that pitch off. Lyon looking to close this out. Base hit would score two. We'd end up going to the sixth. No sooner I say it, it's going to score four. Possibly. It's definitely going to score three. Ball went under the fence. So he's going to get... It's got to stay with a double. So two runs score. So J.J. Johnson with the double. That's going to bring in two. He's going to get credited for two RBIs. Cuts the lead now. 12 to 4. And the ball went under the fence. So ground rule double. Ball's going to be fouled off. So now Lindsay's at third. 
Edwards and Devin Phillips scored on that last shot by J.J. Johnson. And up to bat now, C.J. Colgan. Colgan, one for two tonight, singled his first time up. And there's another shot past the first baseman, down into the right field corner. Colgan going to stay there with a single, but it's going to bring in two runs. So Lindsey and J.J. Johnson both score. And all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a ball game. 12 to 6. Colgan with the single. Give him two RBIs. That's his second hit of the night. So he's on first. Two outs, and that's going to bring up James Williams. Williams. 0 for 1 tonight. Here's a pitch from Lyon. Williams with the swing. Good cut. So two outs. Now 12 to 6 game. Actually 12 to 5. Now I correct myself, it is 12 to 6 with all the excitement. Missed the run scoring. So Colgan's able to get to second base. And there's the pitch to Williams. Two strikes. Colgan out there. Second base, and there's the pitch. Lion able to get out of the inning, but not before damage was done. The A's score five runs on four hits. No errors, one man left on base. So after five complete, it's the Royals six and the, I'm sorry, the Royals 12 and the A six. And we'll be back after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night. Your debt overwhelms you. Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebley, Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalov and White. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the top of the sixth inning. It's the Royals 12 and the A's 6. The A's able to extend this game a little bit longer. So batting for the Royals in the sixth is Brody Kutchman, Zachary Smith, and Brody Baker. Kutchman 0 for 2 on the night. He did score a run after being hit by a pitch in that second inning. On the mound, again, this inning will be Devin Phillips, there's a shot. It's going to get into the gap. Brody Kutchman is going to have a stand-up double. So Kutchman with the hit to start this inning out. Brody on second base. It's going to be followed by Zach Smith. Here's the pitch. Smith with a shot over the right fielder. Ness barely. Smith going to make it to second base on the play. Kutchman had to hold up, so he's only going to be at third. So now all of a sudden, two men on. Nobody out. And that brings up Brody Baker. Toby Downs on deck. Here's the pitch from Phillips. Swing and a miss. Brody Baker. Baker. A hit in an RBI tonight. He also got walked twice. Scored two runs. So busy night. Pitched down and low. One ball, one strike. Nobody out. Still a six-run lead by the Royals. 12-6 to six over the A's. We're in the top of the sixth. 
Swing fouled back by Brody Baker. And Baker staying alive. Devin Phillips on the mound for his second inning of work. Here's the pitch to Baker. Down and away, Kutchman thought about going, but ball did not get that far away from Alex Edwards to give it a chance. <clears throat> Baker to be followed by Toby Downs. Here's the pitch, a little bit high. Full count, nobody out. Here's the payoff pitch to Brody Baker. Swing and a miss. So first out of the inning. Brings up Toby Downs. Downs one for two tonight. He had a single. Also was walked. First pitch is a strike. <clears throat> Phillips looks in for the sign. There's the pitch to Downs. Strike two on the outside corner. Two big runs out there. Six run lead for the Royals. Toby calls time. Collect his thoughts. Ready to rock and roll. Here's the pitch. Down and away. Bounces off the plate, but Edwards scampers back for it. Kutchman has to stay at third. Phillips to Downs. Here's the pitch. Toby caught looking. So now two outs after first two men get on base for the Royals. That's going to bring up Jacob Mahoney. Mahoney with a swing and a miss. Trenton Clemmer on deck. Jacob looking for a hit. There's a shot. Can he get in the gap? Nice play there. Second base. Beautiful play. Play was made by number 12. Play was made by Denver Workman. That was a beautiful play. He ranged to his right, made the stop, and was able to throw out Jacob Mahoney. So we're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, two men left on base. Coming into the bottom of the sixth, it's the Royals leading the A's 12 to 6, and we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network after these messages. Personal injury can come in many forms. No matter what your injury, the attorneys at Davis & Davis will personally meet with you to discuss your case, just like we have over the last 40 years. Trust your case to a local, experienced legal team. Trust Davis & Davis. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. The A's trying to make a comeback down six, 12 to six. Up to bat for them this inning will be Denver Workman, Mark Ellsworth, and Jake Jones facing Noah Lyon. Lyon gets the first batter to strike out on a called strike. That brings up Mark Ellsworth. Ellsworth one for two on the evening. Jake Jones to follow. Here's the pitch by Noah Lyon. Just a little bit low. Lyon in the windup right down the heart. Both teams chattering. Hayes trying to keep this game rolling. Lyon with a nice pitch there. Two strikes. 
Ellsworth thought it was three. First pitch was actually called a ball. Now it's up to Jake Jones, the last hope for the A's. If he would reach its top of the order, trip sharp. Jake Jones swings at the first. Here comes the pitch from Lyon. Strike two. One strike away from the victory. Here's the pitch. Strike three. So in that inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. The Royals with the win, 12 to six. And tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and their staff. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry DuPay, and this has been a South Union Township sports presentation.